I am AC Sedisha Chauhan, a proud film drama, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing all the things that you must know before you start your ACC. So, if you're interested in knowing that, keep on watching this video and also subscribe to our channel Fintram Global for more such informative videos. So, many students before they start, they want to know a lot of things. Firstly, let's start with knowing ACC. Now, ACC stands for Association of Chartered Certified Accountant. It is a global body of professional accountants. So, ACC is recognized in over 180 plus countries. After you become an ACC, you are essentially a global professional accountant. Alright, now let's get on to the main part. So many students have this query that what is the structure, how many exams are there, you know, who is eligible, can someone get any exemptions and all of that. So in today's video, we will be discussing all of that in brief and quickly. So let's start with the first thing, exams. So there are 13 exams that you will have to give, but depending on if you are eligible for some exemptions, then you will not have to give certain papers. We will be talking about exemptions in a moment, but there are these 13 exams divided in three levels. So you have your first level, which is your applied knowledge. Then you have your applied skills and professional level. Now, when you are at a particular level, you can give exams in any sequence. So you can decide which paper I want to give first, which second. But once you complete a level, only then you can move on to the next level. Starting off with the first level, which is the applied knowledge level. Here, there are three papers, your business and technology, financial accounting, management accounting. In this level, basically the essentials of accounting are taught. These are absolutely basic papers. You know, you are taught here absolutely basic accounting and related concepts. Now, these are on demand exams. That is, you can appear for them like 365 days in a year. There is no timetable that's going to be published by ACCA that you can only appear on this particular date. No. So these exams are available 365 days a year. You can choose the date and book your exams online. The process is seamless and very simple. And of course, you have to score 50% or more to pass these exams. To know in detail about all of the subjects of ACCA, I will link another video wherein I have talked in detail the subject structure of ACCA. For now, we'll just quickly discuss it in brief. Like I said, you can give this exams in any uh, you know sequence. I could give BT first, then FA or the other way around. Next level is your applied skills level where you have the six papers starting off with corporate and business law, which is similar to your knowledge level exams in the way that this is also an on-demand exam. Other exams for of your skill and professional levels are all the exams which are conducted by ACCA quarterly. That is, you have sittings for these exams. It's in March, June, September and December. So the ACC will publish the timetable for these exams. So there are then other, uh, you know, papers and like I said, you can give it in any sequence. So there are various subjects from your uh, performance management to your audit to your tax to your financial management, financial reporting and of course there is your law paper and you can give this in any sequence. Then you have your professional level. Yes, in this you have four papers out of which two are compulsory and two are optional in the sense that out of four you can choose two. So the two compulsory one are strategic business leader and strategic business reporting. These are all uh, compulsory exams. These two you have to attempt and the next set is out of the four like advanced tax, advanced financial management, advanced audit and advanced performance management. Out of these four you can give any two. So that option again has been given to you and you can decide which one you want to give. So that is there and again the pass mark is 50% for all of the ACCA exams. Then to know more like I said about the subject structure you can watch the video it's linked in iBud. After you complete the exam there is also an ethics and professional module which students will have to do. It's an online module nothing too difficult and once you clear that uh, in order to be become like an ECCA member, you also have to meet the PER requirement, which is basically your three years of relevant work experience. Now, these three years of relevant work experience, you could do in multiple forms, like one year in one form, one year and few months in another form, and then remaining in another form. 
Also, if I, let's say for example, did uh, accounting work in one firm, let's say for a year, and then I registered for ACC, I can still, you know, count that one year towards my PER. So it doesn't matter whether you had registered as an ACCA or, you know, now you have registered. If you had that relevant work experience, you could still count it. So that is an amazing benefit given to you. And of course, once your three years are counted, you become an ACCA member and you can use those words ACCA with your name. All right, then many students have this concern also that, you know, what are the exemptions? Who's eligible for it? So there are exemptions available depending upon your qualification. For example, if you were a BCom graduate, you would get four exemptions. Your BT, FA, MA, Law, all exempted. If you, let's say, I have already cleared CA, you are at CA, but you also want to do ACCA because, you know, it's a global qualification, then, you know, you will have to just give your professional level exams. Skill, knowledge, everything exempted. To know more about the exemptions, watch uh, the video which is linked in the i button wherein we are discussing the exemptions in detail. Also, you can visit our website, reach out to the team to know about exemptions if you know there's some specific course which you have done which is not discussed in any video. So you can uh, you know contact us to know about that whether you know it's there in the list and whether you'll get exemptions or not. So you can do that as well. All right, after this, there's another question that who is really eligible? Can anyone just, you know, apply and, you know, start with that ACCA procedure? So to start with off with, if you are, let's say, doing it after your 12th class, then there's a requirement that is that in your maths or accounts and English, you should have at least 65% of marks and uh, all other subjects, 50% minimum. But let's say you have not met this criteria or you want to start as early as possible, that is right after your 10th class, then you can still do so by, you know, doing it through the FIA route, which is your foundation in accountancy route, which is nothing but you will have the same exams which you were giving any which ways in your knowledge level of ACCA. So that is like pretty much similar. So you don't have to worry if you want to start and you if you are not falling in that other criteria, you can reach out to us and we will help you out all right so we have sorted many things you can start right, right after your class 10 you could start after your college you could start after your ca while you are doing ca maybe you have cleared ipcc uh, you could start anytime basically because you know and the sooner you start of course it's better but it's never too late so if you're working in a firm and you had let's say just done your you know undergraduate degree and now you think you need to do something else to upskill then you can decide to do ACCA. You might be also eligible for various exemptions. All right, then there are many students who want to understand how do they exactly start with it? How do they register? What is the application process? So ACCA, you can apply online. The process is very simple, quick. You just need to have all your documents ready, uh, you know, relating to if you, let's say, went to a college, your college mark sheets, uh, if you're doing it after 10th, that mark sheet and all of that. But if you do it on your own, you will have to, of course, pay a registration fee. But if you do it with us, Fintram Global, who's the gold approved ACC learning partner, you will have free registration. We also offer scholarships to students 91,500. So, you know, your scholarship could go up to that amount, which is, I feel, amazing. So you can just get in touch with us to begin your journey. And also, if you were doing it on your own, and let's say you were eligible for some exemptions, then you will have to pay the full amount to ACC. But if you are doing with us, then we also have reduced fees for exemptions. I'm linking a video above in the i button where you can see the comparison that if you were to do on your own, how much fees you will have to give for exemptions. And if you are doing with us, what is the reduced fees? So do watch out that video as well. So we have discussed a lot right from the eligibility, the exams and everything. So these are the things that you must know before you start with your ACCA journey. ACCA offers many opportunities in the field of audit, advisory, tax, risk, financial accounting, management accounting, generally just accounting and in finance of course. So there are endless opportunities. You could work here, right here in India, uh, in various global MNCs, big fours, or you, if you meet the you know visa requirement, if you go out, you can work in uh, various other countries. 180 plus countries recognize this course. If you still have some queries, concern, you can comment down below. 
to know more about our scholarship all the you know benefits that you can get visit our website get in touch with the team to know all of, about that and you can also take a free demo session uh, of any subject that you are you know going to appear for or if you're just starting to know how it goes about so i will see you soon in any other videos relating to acca do subscribe to our channel and also follow us on instagram for more such informative videos if this video was helpful hit that like button and please share it with your friends and your families whoever you want to educate about acca i will see you soon this is disha chauhan signing off